Hey, hey, hey. It's uh, Tom, crypto blogger here. Um, not really doing a lot of videos lately because um, the market's crappy. Uh, the, you know, it, it's like it's something but bad news and FUD lately. So you can look at the news and see that all you want. I mean, as a matter of fact, you could go to my website, techbait.net here, and you could, uh, you could check this baby out all you want, okay? Um, and, and you could get your dose of bad crypto news all you want because like everything's been bad lately not everything but you know it's like you know FUD 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 constant FUD on top of FUD government FUD company FUD you know credit card company FUD bank FUD I mean everybody's trying to like pound down cryptos and they've been doing a good job of it so um you can see that all you want in the news go to techbait.net and check that out daily I mean check it out daily it's there it updates all the time it's a news aggregator site I mean, before putting the ads on there, I, I, I created it for my own purpose of uh, having one URL I could hit that has a bunch of uh, RSS feeds, and uh, it works pretty well. I, I love it. I use it myself constantly, so I invite you to use it uh, and share it with your friends and colleagues, whatever, uh, and on social media. I would appreciate it. So anyway, uh, back to YouTube. So what do we have here lately? We have a bunch of prominent crypto YouTubers who've gone... Uh, AWOL, they're gone. Uh, first one I'd like to mention is Crypto Daily. This guy is a British guy, an English guy. I, I really like him. I think he's really cool. If, if you see this at all, I don't know why he would see my video, but if he does, I'm a fan. Um, so take this as constructive or healthy criticism or whatever. But, uh, you know, I, I understand. If you look at his last video, he basically says how he may not be doing videos as frequently because you know the news is crappy and that's that's understandable it's not exciting when everything's bad news and everything's tanking uh, people are getting wrecked but <clears throat> there's still news out there it's still an industry it's still there's stuff going on so you know maybe once a week would be more appropriate but just to go deal the guy hasn't made a video in like three weeks three weeks just gone um, and he's really cool he's got like this He's got like over 100,000 subscribers. How do you just throw that away? But, you know, it's his channel. So what else do we have? We have another guy. Um, what am I going to do? Uh, I already looked for all these guys. Um, uh, let me go back. Backward. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, well, there's him, this guy, Crypto Wall Street. This guy's really cool, but I'm going to get back to him later. Um, so... We have uh, Doug Poke Crypto. Here's another guy. Now, this guy, I think he's got other channels, or he's some kind of a professional poker player or something. But he had this, this uh, crypto channel where he basically he gets up there. He's kind of comedy. Uh, he, he, like, makes fun of people, and he calls out other YouTubers and things like that. He's kind of like a Weisenheimer, you know, like a wise guy. Uh, and uh, he's gotten to the skin of these BitConnect guys to the point where they've made videos... And kind of threatened them, actually, that with bodily harm, that they were going to, you know, that he should watch his mouth, so to speak. Um, but he hasn't made a video in like three weeks. And again, here's another guy who, uh, the market's bad right now. <laughs> the news is bad. I mean, there's plenty of stuff to talk about, but for whatever reason, he's not doing much on this, his crypto channel, okay? So he's another MIA guy, right? AWOL. And there's probably a lot of others. Now, this other guy I want to get to. Oh, I lost it. Let me uh, go back. To, oh, yeah, Crypto Wall Street. Let me go back to him. Charlie. This guy I like. Crypto Wall Street. He, 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 I got turned on to his channel by somebody else. Another YouTuber, uh, In It For The Money. Asger. Uh, these guys, I think, are Danish. Uh, <clears throat> one of those... Uh, countries I, I think it's Denmark but I, I'm not sure it could be Norway I mean it's one of those those uh, countries and um, anyway uh, this guy I think he's over in Europe now I think I mean but he lived or maybe he does double duty between there and America but he's he's in the financial industry and uh, he's got like Wall Street experience like uh, from the California side but financial so he, he knows the industry like Wall Street, stuff like that, stocks, and he was reluctant to get into crypto, and uh, his friend Asger kind of got him into it, 
And during the height of the, the FOMO, this guy opened up this channel. And look, he's already got 3, 000, over 3,000 subscribers. He got that in no time. And, and he could go much higher than that. And he's down to earth. He's not flamboyant. But he, he's got a newsletter as well. So does Asger, the other uh, channel. So he's got this financial newsletter. So anyway, things are getting to this guy too. This guy sends out an email just the other day basically saying, I don't think it's coming back. Crypto, the, the, the golden days of crypto are dead, he pronounces. And I'm like, what? I mean, you know, not for nothing. I mean, we don't know that yet, guys, you know. And I emailed him. He was nice enough to email me back. And, like, I'm not making fun of you, Charlie, if you see this. Uh, again, I'm a fan. Uh, I just don't think you should write it off so soon, all of these guys. Um, we are, you know, you know, I mean, have you seen the Bitcoin charts? For the last several years where it's gone up and then had massive downturns and then gone up again this is just the latest and the greatest now i do understand little things are a little different now we're talking a lot bigger numbers and we're talking crypto is on the radar of the governments and the banks and everything else so it's got a lot more opposition so to speak you've got tax issues you got all this stuff that you didn't have in past years so i I understand it's a little different now than it was, but it, you, I think you, look, I could be wrong. I'm, I'm not a financial analyst or anything like that, but I, I do work in technology. I've done over 20 years in the technology field. I've worked with, you know, the biggest company I ever worked with was, uh, worked for was Hewlett Packard. Uh, and that came via an acquisition of a smaller enterprise software company. I've, I've worked in enterprise software companies and uh, later on in publishing and now in public sector, but always software development, right? I'm not a programmer, but I work in the software development field. And uh, I kind of know technology. I mean, I called Linux, Linux dominance, you know, how it's been so dominant in the server space and everything, way back when everybody was Microsoft shops, Microsoft and Unix. I saw this Linux thing come. A lot of people made fun of me. They laughed. They, they chuckled behind their backs. All these IT guys who did Windows shops. They sit there and you're like kind of chuckle. Yeah, okay, sure. You, you, you little hobbyist Linux thing. And now Linux like is running everything. You know, even the Microsoft servers are running in virtual machines on Linux boxes in a lot of cases. So I kind of know technology. I have a feel for it, and I, I just don't see this crypto thing going away. Blockchain's here to stay. There's a lot of innovative stuff now. Sure, like in the dot com crash, a lot of uh, shaky projects will go away. That's understandable, but. Uh, I think there's big money waiting to come in. If you look on CNBC, a lot of these financial, they're excited about this new asset class, they call it. You know, and, and they can park money here. And I think they're waiting. I think something's going on. We got this consensus event, consensus in New York City coming up in, in mid May. That could be a possible uh, Kickstarter. Who knows? I know that uh, the, some of the same people are looking to turn New York City into a blockchain hub. And uh, some politicians, local politicians in New York City, are looking to rewrite the bit license law. You know, that little law that New York has that scares away blockchain companies from even doing business in the state. Like, if you try to access some of these sites from New York State, you get a thing up saying, sorry, you're in New York, no can do -y. you know, sorry. That could change. And New York is huge. New York City is a big... They'd be very smart to do this. Listen, politicians in New York City, you'd be very smart to embrace technology. We're talking jobs and money, people. There's some, some crypto stuff going on in Brooklyn. Brooklyn's like a gentrified area in New York City. And, uh, you know, so uh, what I'm trying to say is we could be on the verge of the next big giant bull run. I don't know. I mean, maybe not. But to throw in the towel right now, to let all this FUD get to you like the way these guys have, I just, I don't know. I, I see it as a bit, I mean, not, not for nothing. I'm going to take a little poke at you guys, and I'm going to Charlie off the screen right now because it's not so much aimed at him, but it's more aimed at guys like Polk and uh, and uh, Crypto Daily. Oops, Crypto Daily, uh, guys like that. Guys, you, you know, you, you got in this. And you're so popular at the height of the excitement. It's kind of reminiscent of somebody who, you know, things aren't going right. And then they, you know, they, they throw the game board away. And, and they want to go home. They don't want to play anymore. Because things got a little rough. 
That's what it appears to be here. Now, I understand you may have good reason for toning down your content, maybe not putting out as much content, whatever. That's understandable. When it's not as exciting or whatever, there's just not as much to really get excited about talking about. There's still, there's still an industry. There's still things going on. So my recommendation to these guys, and they don't have to listen to me because i got a little piddly channel with almost no subscribers, but I, I've worked in the software industry, technology industry. I don't think this is over, and I think it would be well worth it for them to put out some content, even if it's once a week or once every two weeks, just a little ping to keep the channel alive. Guys, keep your channels alive, all right? Even if just to report on the state of the, of the, of the sector, okay? But whatever. Do what you want. It's your channels to throw away. I mean, uh, Crypto Daily here. I don't know if he's got other channels, but hey, he's got over a hundred thousand subscribers. How do you throw that away? I, I I wish I had that kind of following, you know. So anyway, uh, and honestly, you know, I can't could never compete with this guy. This guy's got some really great production in his videos. Some of the stuff he does, it's really funny too. So I can understand why he has a hundred thousand subscribers. But I see some of these people with like still have a lot of subscribers who don't do anything special on their channel it's like me right here you see a background they're in front of their computer talking not doing a whole lot of whatever but they got a lot of subscribers so whatever I, I don't know how that works I don't know how people break into that but um I guess they just keep doing videos like I'm gonna keep doing but uh honestly I, I think crypt crypto's around and honestly my site here tech bait it's not just crypto it's technology so please visit this thing because it's even got, you know, slash dot mashable wire. It's got all these technology feeds in here, which is which are you know you keep on top of the news. You click on a link, it launches in a new window or tab, and then you kill it. It goes back to the site. It also renders great on a smartphone. It's one big column, just like this on a smartphone. I actually resisted making it more like a Drudge Report style layout because I, I like the. The similarity between the desktop and the smartphone version of this thing. It's just a lot of scrolling, but who cares? I mean, this stuff scrolls fast if you're good with the finger. So, um, please visit my site. Visit my t-shirt designs. I got my t-shirt designs here. I got some pretty good Bitcoin stuff. Who wants to wear Bitcoin right now, right? Who wants to do it? You know, it, it, it can come back. It can really come back. I mean, I, I know that a lot of people... You know, the people who are anti-Bitcoin or anti-technology, the Luddites out there are just chuckling um, and saying, I told you so, I knew it. Gold, silver, that's all we believe in. And then uh, gold, guns, and ammo, you know. But, um, you know, uh, and that stuff's important. I'm not saying it isn't. I wouldn't mind having some gold, guns, and ammo. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But um, I, I honestly think... Crypto has a lot of utility, uh, untapped potential. Uh, we just have to, some of these governments, like, you know, we need some politicians to get the SEC off our backs because that, you know, them calling this thing a commodity or property is just what's killing it as a currency. These things are supposed to be meant to be currencies. And how can you buy anything with something when every time you buy something, it's a tax liability? That's, that's what's helping to kill this stuff as a currency, what it was intended to be. If every time you buy something, it's a tax liability, who the heck is going to buy anything with it? You know, they, they, it's like, it's a genius move by the governments. So anyway, I'm going to do other videos about other stuff, but um, I don't want to mix too much different content in each video. But I just wanted to, to talk about some of these, these, uh, these uh, uh, AWOL, MIA YouTubers. Guys, get back in it. Put in some skeleton content, something. Keep your channels going because if things do take off again, guess what? People aren't going to really believe you that much or maybe be into you because they're going to figure, oh, you know, they're only in it for the money or the, the advertising or whatever. You know, they, they, when things are going good, they want to be out there and have their faces out there. But when things are going bad, they're going to go run and hide. That's just what it looks like, guys. And I like all of you. Um, Doug Polk, wise guy, whatever, but. And I do enjoy them. But uh, Crypto Daily, I'm a big fan. Charlie, I'm a big fan. Uh, Crypto Wall Street. And, and, and guys like you. And there's probably others out here too. Those are just some of the most, the ones I've noticed the most. Um, and it must be happening out there. It, it's depressing times. It is. How many months we're going to get beaten down in this crypto market? It's just like it was supposed to be Chinese New Year. There was supposed to be 
you know, bull market in March. You know, first it was Feb mid February, then it was March. Now March is done, and we're still in the doldrums. You know, now they're saying consensus mid May. Who the heck knows? Other people are saying June. Um, but uh, I think there's lots of big money waiting to get into this at the right time. I don't know what the triggers are. I'm not pretending to know, but I think at some point it's going to happen. So I think you want to be ready for it when it does, so you can jump in. Um, and uh, I mean, even my trading bot hasn't been doing great, but I'm not giving up on it. As a matter of fact, I'm plotting to get more exchange licenses before it moves to a subscription model uh, because I don't want to pay a monthly subscription for that particular thing. So uh, anyway, uh, if you could like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I don't put out content every day. No reason to. Uh, I put it out when I'm uh, inclined to do so. Uh, so hopefully I won't waste your time with uh, irrelevant content. And uh, I think that's about it for now. So uh, please like and subscribe. Please go to my site, TechBait. And uh, let's keep the faith, right? It's, I think it's going to come back.